Okay. What is that? I think you killed it. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Look here. Yes, sir. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the light elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. <laughs> attacking us for. We didn't do anything. More will come. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? Say something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to the light. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Let's get started then. Oh no, we can't forget you. Stop the chopping.
Was there something else? What can I do for you two? Sometimes the best purchase is the one we don't make. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. said nothing. Wait, could have sworn you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. Mm. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... Evil. Look, should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Look at that. That must be the Ring Temple. Sandbowls in Alfheim too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Focus up, boy! Go!
Atreus, here! Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No.
Father, do you ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Oh. Well, good thing I didn't drink any seawater. Right? Yes, it is. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. He covered the crystal wall. To prevent reinforcements. Oh, no! <laughs> Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? Okay, so that did something, I think. <laughs> Together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come back to the sand bowl. Farm an elvish room. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. 
Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard. Uh, it was hard to make out. But well, way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard. Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. Be ready. What? Hope that was worth it.
Atreus, to me! Another Nornir chest. Let's see. Where are the seals? Think that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. back there. Oh. I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Across here. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore.
Hey, you sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. Ugh, more of it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. boy. Guess the light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top.
Look! The blue door! We made it! You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. Why even have a door then? Hello? Come, we will find another way in. More of those bells. A nor near chest must be nearby. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. We found something interesting. Oh, really? I love something interesting. Whoa. You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. How are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. What speaks to you?
Until we meet again, my friends. Look here. Another. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself.